Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good, hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Abby. I am a hair and lifestyle vlogger. This is my hair channel. If you would like to check out everything else about me, um, please head over to my vlog channel after this video. Anyway guys, so um, as you know, I said I was going to start doing a salon brawl. I was going to go to a new salon in London every month and I was going to review it and share it with you guys so you have options. Well, well, well. <laughs> this is a little bit of a rant slash a review. So I told you guys I was going to go to the New York Hair Design Salon. Before I went, um, or the person who told me about them, the two people who told me about them, I when I booked the appointment, I never asked about prices because I, I just I, it just didn't came, come to my mind. So when I spoke to them, they were like, "Oh yeah, she's a bit pricey." And this one lady was like, "Yeah, she charged me fifty pounds for twists, not with extensions, just not washing it, not blow dry, nothing, just the fact that she twisted." her hair like you know twist outs that's all she did and she charged the lady 50 pounds so i was like okay so but do you know what i was like i've paid more than that before for hair let me just go and check it out um and then i can actually you know just decide if it's worth it or not so um i knew she was going to be pricey so in my mind i was like you're only going to take 50 pounds if it's more if whatever she's doing is more than 50 pounds you will only do 50 pounds worth so yeah so um so basically when i got out of the station as you guys saw that was all i took like i did i couldn't capture anything else because first of all it was snowing so i was already upset and then my phone died so i couldn't find the salon long story um anyway i finally so in my head and I, I was running late so in my head oh my god she probably won't even miss that i'm not there yet she probably has so many customers you know a natural hair salon like this charging an arm and a leg she's not gonna miss me blah 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 so i get to the salon and there's two ladies one's by the hair sink and one's by the door and i'm like hi my name's abby i booked an appointment she was like oh hi lovely to meet you okay so i couldn't film as i said because i, I knew it wasn't going to end well the a salon was orange like it was just one room they had the um bits to wash the hair at the back and then she had a row of um what's those hair dryers those big old-fashioned hair dryers she had four rows of hair dryers and then she had like a seat in the corner so it wasn't a big salon she had loads of like afro hair posters up but in my head i was thinking is this where my friend came and paid 50 pounds to do twists like first of all it's in turnpike lane no shade to anyone living in turnpike lane but you know it's in turnpike lane it's not it's not like it's in the last salon um that was quite expensive that i went to which i showed you guys was in old street it's sh like in between old street and shoreditch i could get the prices because it's in central london or you know so um so anyway when i got there i was like um i'm so sorry i haven't finished taking out my braids um but um as you know i wanted to wash and um treat my hair and then like cut a fringe she was like oh okay well it's normally uh and i, and I was like i only have 50 pounds and she's like well you know i normally charge 20 pounds to take out your braids um and then it would be 70 pounds to wash and treat and cut i was like no not cut she was like yeah even to cut the fringe yeah yeah not the whole hair just just the fringe i was like well um i only got 50 pounds so what's gonna happen she was like oh and I was, okay do you know what don't worry i'll take out my own hair and then she was like, okay, in that case, I'll charge you 50 pounds. So as time was going, um, and like I saw like it was dead. Her salon was dead. It was quiet. I was like, and then she was like, 
you don't want to blow dry you're gonna need to blow dry which is gonna cost you more because to be able to cut your fringe you need to blow dry I was like no no I don't use heat on my hair no no you don't need to blow dry it to cut a fringe and also when you cut when you blow dry my hair and cut the fringe the fringe is gonna end up shorter because my hair is curly she was like yeah I know but we tend to cut the fringe a bit longer and then instantly I lost faith I was like you are not my Mm -mm. you are not a natural hair salon because you don't even know how to cut my hair without straightening it like <sighs> so anyway um, I played along like I sat and then I was taking out my hair and I was there for like an hour taking out my hair and I was like oh my god this is like the longest thing ever and this lady is not gonna help me she's gonna charge me 20 pounds and I literally only have 50 pounds so in my head I was like do you know what yeah it's not even worth it she's way too pricey for her area for what she can do i don't care if she's a scissor hand like no um so i got up and i was like do you know what it's okay i'm gonna go and take out my hair when i get home and then i'll come back tomorrow um and then she was like oh are you sure i was like yeah i don't really like sitting here and then i'm just taking out my hair and it's i still got you know i have a lot to go um and then um she was like where do you live i was like oh it's quite far um and i told her where i lived and she was like wow that is far do you know what because then she clocked that i'm leaving and i'm not coming back she was like do you know what it's okay i won't charge you to take out the braids don't worry i'll take i was like no 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 it's okay i will just go and come back um and then you know i'm a hot mess today I'll, she's like no are you sure no stay you can't go all that way stay stay uh heifer no i'm not staying anymore because you're taking liberties and now here is the run my main run is like you guys know how much i want to promote natural hair salons not just if you are um natural you know going natural transition but even if you're relaxing your hair or even if you're texturizing it we need to have a place where people can treat our hair properly the age of wanting our hair to look like someone else's is gone we now need to embrace our hair and then you have people who are claiming to help you embrace your hair and then they are exploiting you well if you have nowhere else to go of course you will go to her and you will pay god knows how much because you have no choice by the way when i was coming in there was a lady going out and she had dreads so i think she helped her wash her dreads and then I think they colored it or something she charged the lady 310 pounds to wash and I think color dreads or something like that why are you if you want to do something good if you want black women to feel confident comfortable in their hair follicles why are you being extortionate why are you charging extortionate prices when I know you don't know what you're doing how can you tell me you need to blow dry my whole head of hair because you want to cut a fringe? That does not give me any confidence whatsoever. And it really, really cheesed me off. Like, I was passionately upset because I feel like we can't catch a break. And then the little break we want to catch to have self-love, to love the hair on our heads, people are exploiting it. And it makes me want to open or do something more where I just have a service where I go to people's houses and I do their hair and I take care of them and I don't charge it. It, it does not cost 50 pounds for you to wash my hair and then put treatment in it and then wash it out. It does not cost 50 pounds. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know um rush if you're in uk you know about rush rush is like a caucasian salon but they're quite expensive they cut your fringe for free no matter what color you are no matter what hair texture you are they cut it for free they don't blow dry they in fact they wet it they do wet cuts they don't do dry cuts so i'm there like lady you have pushed me to the bone to the limit like why do we do that and to be honest she wasn't a black lady i don't know where she was from but she wasn't black maybe her mixed race i don't know but she wasn't black but in my head i'm thinking so you're offering this service for natural hair women but really and truly you're not 
you you're not trying to help us you're actually trying to put your hand in our pockets and take out more than you deserve like that's shady and that's rude so that's how that salon went um you guys can check it out if you want and do you know what it's her business i'm not bad mouth well i am bad mouthing her but she needs to wake up and smell the coffee and why was she telling me she would now do my take out my braids for me for free when she already told me it's gonna take me 20 pounds 20 pounds my hair was almost done i only had a little section on this side and she was gonna charge me 20 pounds lord jesus i i was upset i was more upset than angry because i was like like and the, i think i was more upset because i was like i had faith in you as well i was coming from the place of i found a natural hair salon i'm gonna review i'm gonna tell people about it and they're gonna go and get their hair done there and then i leave with a totally different experience like it just it just showed me humanity it showed me that we're still a little bit backwards and it, it's hard it's it, it's becoming more and more difficult for and i never want to talk about race and stuff here but it, it, it's becoming more and more difficult for us as colored black natural girls who don't have straight hair to get ahead i mean we have to deal with these things in the workplace we have to deal with these things in um on the streets what we don't need is deceitful people to add to our struggles like you're like we already have struggles as it is we're not just black we're women so we have two kind of negative counterparts affecting our um development or affecting how people see us and then you want to just add on top of it and make us pay extortionate prices i don't blame the girls that pay 300 pounds for a wig and they know that you know what i wash my hair at home and i put my wig on and i wear this wig for a year and nothing is touching that and and then you want to be charging me 50 pounds because you want to wash my hair like that just sends us backwards people are like ah, i don't have money to go natural so they don't like but life shouldn't we don't it shouldn't be like that like it shouldn't be that difficult for us to be able to feel comfortable in our own skin or in our own hair follicles that really got gets me and i don't know if that's coming across but i just felt so strongly about it and i just had to say do you know what scrap the review clearly this is not a review this is a rant um i do hope things will change and i do want to be part of the motion for change how i'm gonna do it i don't know where i'm gonna start from i don't know but i'm hoping you guys can help me because i'm thinking if we can promote this channel i can promote that i can actually take care of people's hair i can promote how you can do it yourself because when that happened and i came home i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it myself and i did like it i really didn't need her i did it more to show you guys that there's options and i did it more as a little treat as well so it's not like i needed her to do my hair like that's the difference and i feel like most people don't know how to do their hair themselves so they go out and pay these extortionate prices or they just wear a wig because it's easier so i'm hoping on this channel on this platform we can find a way to make it work for us um if you guys have any ideas suggestions holler at your girl um this has spurred such a passion in me i'm thinking of just starting my own business hair salon or something because i was like this is a mess this is a joke and also when i went to the shoulder one and i paid like a hundred and so pounds for my hair it still wasn't great when 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 i ended up straightening my hair i found out that the lady is at cut one side longer than the other because obviously she's not very experienced with cutting hair curly and wet so yeah, so that's that on the salon front. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go greatly. Um, but onwards and upwards, I've heard of another one I'm gonna check out next month. That's it for this month. I'm tired, I can't deal, and I just I just can't. I'm I'm just gonna do my hair this month and then maybe next month in March I can brace the courage to experience another situation but it, it really is a situation but anyway guys thank you for listening to my rant if you agree let me know if you have any suggestions holler at your girl um ask abby will be back 
next time i know this has taken ask abby's place but if you have any questions for me anything you want to know about natural hair if you'd like to know how i achieved this look um head over to my channel check it out it was the last bit video before this one um yeah like thank you so much for watching um give it a thumbs up if you liked it enjoyed it agree let me know even if you disagree let me know like color day if you think you know what it's my business i can charge whatever i want to charge let me know as well that's cool too you can do that but don't don't do that if you're extorting people it's rude anyway um also if you know someone who would like this video or someone who is in the midst of hair transitioning and wants a little bit more information clues or ideas what to do etc etc please share this video with them also if you've not subscribed to this channel and you are watching me please hit that subscribe button let's promote this movement of being able to stand up and say i am comfortable with who i am and my hair follicles um yeah so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye